Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to add and use the app cheat feature in your AppyPy app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Under the edit and test go live section, click on edit. In your edit app section, go to the, go to the menu on the top left and click on add future. In this slide out menu, click on view all to see the list of features. Search for the app sheet feature and click on add feature to add it to your app. You will now see the app feature listed in my feature section. When you hover over the feature, you will see multiple options like hide feature, edit and customize feature, and delete feature. For more options, click on the keep up menu in the right and explore the options to move the feature up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the edit and customize feature option to see how we can edit the feature further. Here in the edit feature section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the feature in your app. You can change the page name here. Click on the icon and this window will open up. Click on select icon where you will see multiple options for icons, solid and outline icons. In the select image sec so section, you will see lo loads of options for images that can be used as icons for your app sheet feature. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple and Android and website to make your app icon stand out. In the content section, you can add files to your app sheet feature from your Google account by clicking on the connect with Google Sheets. Once you click on the button, you will see a window where you can use where you can choose a Google account to connect with your app. Next, you would see all the permissions the app builder will need to function properly. Click on allow and you will come back to your edit feature screen where you can click on manage. It might take a few seconds for the next screen to load. Here on this screen, you will be able to see all the Google Sheets spreadsheets you have on the Google account. You just connect it to your app. Click on the sheet you want to add and fill in the details like the sheet name, the sub sheet name, the display name, permissions, and the currency you will be using. And then click on add table. The sheet will then appear in your manage sheet section. You can keep adding more tablet tables by clicking on add new table. Then select the right options from the respective drop down menu and click on add table. The new table will appear at the top of the list. You'll be able to see all the details for each of the tables here. Click on the number of relationships to see the details. You can update the permissions by clicking here and then clicking on update. From the ellipsis menu, you can access additional options. Click on the set default table and the pop-up window will appear to ask for confirmation. Click on set default table. From the same ellipsis menu, you can choose to edit or delete the table should you need it. Once you click on edit, you will see the information categorized under different fields. You can edit any detail for any given column like information type, display name, or app formula. However, one important thing to remember is that once you add a formula, formula to a column, you will not be able to edit it on the mobile end. Once you click on add formula, a pop-up will appear with fields like math, yes, no time, list, text, and other. In the math field, you can see all the available math-based formula, which you can insert with the click of a button. If you have any trouble understanding the use of math formula, you can click here to refer to our tutorial. Once, once you click on the insert, the formula will appear in the field at the top, and you can edit as per your preferences. Once you are satisfied, you can click, save, and sync. The formula will now be visible on the table. You can now select the key column for the table by checking the respective box. Next, you can choose the label columns, which must be visible in the first view. You can choose a maximum of two columns for this. You can use the read-only functionality for the columns that you want to lock for editing from the mobile end. You can use the hidden functionality to hide any specific column. However, any column that is marked as key or label cannot be hidden. Next, you can choose which columns will be mandatory to be filled in as the user adds a new row to the table by simply checking the respective checkboxes. For more actions or options, you can click on the ellipsis button at the right and choose to delete a certain column. 
Once you have made the desired changes, you can click on Regenerate Structure and the table will be regenerated. You can also reset the table by clicking here or delete it by clicking on the bin here. On the left side sidebar menu, you can see the general settings, language settings, and CMS pages. In the general se settings section, you can view and edit your app settings. And in the language settings sections, you can view and edit the app content. In the CMS page section, you can add critical information about your terms and conditions and privacy policy. Once you have added all this information, you can click on save and sync to save it to the app. Now click on go back and you'll be redirected to the edit feature section. Next go to the design section. Here you can change various design elements of the app including the colors and fonts of the various page elements. You can also add or remove the border. Next go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable in-app for your app with a simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment rec receipt credentials. You can choose to use the, these credentials as global credentials. All the edits and save changes will be saved automatically, but you can also save them manually. As soon as you click publish, you will be able to see all the changes immediately.